Hi subscriber, this is your good old friend Tony James and today I want to talk about something that has to deal with railroad cars, specifically covered hoppers and the different types they are. Hopefully this information will help you better understand grain elevator operations and the type of cars that belong there. Okay, let's get right into it. This is my switcher right here, my SW1500. And he, along with the SD9 later on, are going to be our Vanna White, if you will. Okay, here we go. Okay, now, as you can see from my first car here, this one is a... Um, what they call a PS2 4427. Now that 4427 number is important because that tells you the cubic feet of how much this car can hold. The next one I want to show you is this one. It's also a PS2 but it's a 4460. It holds more cubic feet um, material of grain And the next two here are the ACF versions. Um, these cars are similar in design, but they also hold grain. Now, I'm not quite sure the exact number of cubic feet they hold, but I do make a list that where I can probably um, put it down in the description later on. Now, over here on these cars, these are Trinity built cars. And they're 5161 cubic feet. Now, these cars are specifically designed for grain service. And I'm going to show you why here in just a second. Now, the competitor the thing that most people sometimes get confused is with these next set of cars coming up. And here's when the SD9 is coming to play. Okay, these cars right here are the Athrin types, and they are the 5200 cubic feet cars, or as most model railroads know them, Athrin's 55 foot covered hoppers. And one thing you'll notice on the bottom are the outlet gates here. They have the little smaller round tube like gates on the bottom. And if you look on top, if you look on top, you can see they have the older style brown hatches on top. As over here, these cars have the long throw hatches on top. Now these are the good indications of what materials go into these cars. These cars are designed for plastic pellets, flour, uh, resin, real light materials. And these grain cars, which have grain, they actually hold heavier materials. Now let me show you on the, on the bottom of what these look like. You see here, they have four of the cylinder style hatches or outlets I should say and these have the square type hatches on the bottom okay well I hope this helps you guys out a little bit when you are um, putting together your layout or doing your running so now you know the dirt between these cars and now your layout will make more sense alright guys take care this is Tony James of the CRSR signing off.